If I show you this shot, you might end thinking that I use it hide polygon 3D models or maybe some kind of like scattering system to create these all of these rubble but that's actually partially true if we go here to to the scene in blender using octane you will see that we got only a few models with height polygon count but right here we got this plane with not too much polygons and uh, if we go to the render view you will see that all of these details looks pretty good i made this using the octane uh, texture displacement so in this tutorial i'm going to teach you how to use it Okay, so here we are inside Blender Octane Edition. Um, I'm gonna go here to my bridge, to my Quixel bridge, and I'm gonna find here one of my lastest purchased uh, textures. So I'm gonna use this one, Constructional Rubble. So I'm gonna go here to my Octane, I'm going to select my my plane here and uh, I'm going to create a new material I'm going to call this rubble version 2 and I'm going to use my octane node granular here to add a principle setup so I'm going to go here go to files and uh, I'm going to copy the path of these files then I'm going to return to Blender, click on the Universal Material, add Principled Setup. I'm going to select Albedo Bump Displacement, the JPG Displacement, Normal, Roughness, and Specular, and click on Principled Texture Setup. And uh, let's wait. Let's actually reload the plane here. So as you can see, we got here all of our maps added to the to the universal shader. So let's let's go to do some changes here. So first of all, I'm gonna put the scale on something like 0.2, and uh, okay, it's looking pretty good. And finally, I'm gonna go here to the texture displacement, and as we can see, we got this in uh, 2k resolution so i'm gonna change this to 2k and gonna place the mid level to 0.5 and let's increase the height of this something like like this maybe but we are facing some problems here and uh, is that the texture the displacement is looking a bit too sharp so to fix this I'm gonna use some box blur or Gaussian blur for this so let's try with the box first and actually it's looking pretty good with the filter radius f2 but if you want to to blur this even more we can just increase this to something like 7 and you will see that this looks too smooth, so I don't like it. I'm gonna try the Gaussian. It's looking pretty good also. Let's return to the camera view. And let's reduce the height of this a bit. Something like this. And let's reduce the size of this to something like 0.1. Now let's reduce the the height even a little bit. Okay, so you can just experiment with the texture displacement. And uh, if you want to build this by your own, just delete this. Let's press shift, click on displacement, obtain displacement, and add a texture displacement. 
and connect this to the texture. Change this to 2K, 0 0.5, 0 0.04 this, or 0 0.035. And apply the Gaussian, the box or Gaussian blur filter with, with a radius of 2. And here we are. Another, let's see that, let's think that a weak point of the texture displacement is that if I add here a gradient map here, we will lose the displacement. So at this point, I have not figured out if I can add any, any node in between these ones in case we can, we, we want to create any uh, kind of uh, change on the texture and uh, for example I can reduce the power and this won't work so actually you need to have a good displacement texture to to make this work